Okay, if you haven't done so, go to my video in this section called How to Determine Rejection Regions for Z-Critical Value Versus Test Statistic and take notes because that is a generic video that works for any problem that you're going to do that is determines whether you reject or re, fail to reject an all hypothesis using Z critical value versus test statistic and take notes or, or redraw what I, I had on the screen because that's your generic worksheet for any problem of this type. Okay. All right. So let's get on to the problem then. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully you've viewed that video by now. You are conducting a study to see if men age of 50 or older have their prostate examined. Is it less than 0.35? Okay. So since they're asking, is it less than 0.35, that has to be in the alternative hypothesis. That has to be an alternative hypothesis because they're, remember, the alternative hypothesis always is less than, greater than, or not equal to. And uh, the null hypothesis always contains less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to, okay? So our null hypothesis is P is less than 0.35, which means the null hypothesis must be P greater than or equal to 0.35, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, so the Rambo, now let's uh, get into the, the calculations here. Sample of uh, 785 men over 50 found that 209 have their prostates examined. Uh, does the data support this claim? All right, 5% level of significance for decimal places, okay? So uh, alpha or level of significance is 0.05. Sample size is 785, number of yeses is 209, population proportion, which is what they're claiming, okay, which is right here. This is, it's always in the wording of what they're challenging or what the original statement was, 0.35, okay. Now here's something I want to mention. This problem gave number of sample size and number of yeses asked and gives you a sample proportion of this, okay, it's calculated. There are some problems that just tell you what that sample proportion is. If that's the case, that means you still need the sample size and you still obviously put the population proportion, but this number of yeses, uh, there is no answer for that. You know, you leave it blank and then just manually type that sample proportion into that space right there and everything will be fine. So if they don't give you number of yeses versus sample size to calculate this and they've flat out just give you the sample proportion came out to be 40%. Just ignore this part here and just put like 0.4 in for there, okay? But this time they did ask for a sample size, number of yeses, and it calculated it, okay? Sample proportion, all right? And again, it's calculated as number of yeses divided by the sample size. Okay, so the test statistic is negative 4.92006, okay? And the, since this a, since this is a left tail test, okay, my left tail test, negative 1.645 is the critical value for a left tail test. So, and uh, again, if you saw my video, 